Hey, good morning everybody from North Carolina. I don't know what town we're in. It was a pretty foggy start, man. I can barely see these cars in front of me. Of course, you still got the guy going 100 mile an hour. Can't see squat. Here they come, watch them go. Oh. You go, buddy. Probably the reason your car's all smashed up. Well, the sign says we're 30 miles outside of Rocky Mount. So, yeah, foggy start. You see that car? He can't be. I don't know, two, three hundred yards in front of me, you can't even see them. You can see the white car. So, we'll just go slow and easy. Have the cruise control on, then we'll cruise. Yeah. There's Pedro's place. So you know what that means. Entering South Carolina. There's the sign. Welcome to South Carolina. Hello, Pedro. We're in Manning, South Carolina. Keep left to I-95, then take the ramp ahead. Exit 119. We're going to stop at this TA, do a little 30-minute break. See what's going on at this TA. And then, we'll continue on our merry way. Turn left on I-95. I will not. Potholes. Everybody parked all over the place doing their 30 minute break, and half the parking lot's empty. Typical. Nice pull through.
Okay, 30 minute break time. TA, Manning. Lots of spots. All right, half hour break over. <clears throat> Stories from the road. Man, it never ends, does it? I guess I better put my seatbelt on. So I'm walking in to use the facilite. What are you doing, buddy? Take my hood off? Is that what you're gonna do? Hit my trailer. Let me get the hell out of here before this guy hits me. So <clears throat> I'm walking in. I'm, actually, I'm on my way out, and I see a a bag, and it says "stranded driver." Eh, good old boy, from Tennessee. So A, there's nothing like a conversation between two old guys that neither one of them can hear. So we had that challenge. And he starts telling me he's running an expediter with his girlfriend. I guess they got in a fight. He went in to use the facility. She packed his bag and threw it out. And, and threw it out. Continue one mile to the end of the street, then turn left. And left him here. And I guess he's been here a week. He's trying to get back to Tennessee. I said, oh, I can't help you out. I'm going south. He says Turn that's right on Pikesville Highway. That's been an issue. Everybody's either going north or south. Hmm. And then I guess this wasn't the first time. Because, of course, you got to get the life story, right? In one quarter mile, turn left on I-95 South. So, we wish him luck. Hope he gets where he's going. Turn left on I-95 South. Alright, thank God for Google Maps and the CB radio. Come on. Evidently there was a bad accident, a truck burned to the ground on I-95, somewhere up in there. When I was way up by Savannah, we're south of Savannah on Route 17. Taking the side roads, right man? So and then a couple four-wheelers got together and they said it's a disaster, it's backed up for 20 miles. Google Maps was showing a two-hour delay, like I said before, when I was up there, so. Yeah, we're on the side roads. Speed limit 55, I'm going 55. And there's just a constant stream of traffic. I guess anybody that was stuck in that knew to follow the trucks. And there was a lot of trucks in the line. I can't believe these people to, in today's world don't have a CB radio in their truck. It's crazy. Right, Pale Rider? That's crazy. Crazy, man, not having a CB. I saw a couple people on the side of the road looking at their atlas. 
evidently they don't run a GPS or Google Maps like I do, but neither is Pale Rider. And I got on the CB and said, yo, follow me. Come on. And right up here. We should be able to get right back on 95 and hammer down. Since we only got another hour to the Florida Georgia border. And we're gonna shut it down there. Get up early tomorrow, head into our final destination. Guess I'm gonna have to get up at zero dark thirty and drive through the Ocala Forest in the dark. So there's that. So, in three quarters of a mile, take the ramp on the right to I-95 South toward Jacksonville. Will do, honey. So we just saved ourselves from sitting in traffic for two hours. Jacksonville. And that was that. Crisis averted. All right, we are in Kingsland, Georgia, right at the Florida Georgia border. Kingsland, not Kingsmen or Kingmen or Kingsland. There's all kinds of parking, but we're gonna park kind of in the back so the truck faces that way so we can pick up TV. through the indoor girlfriend man there's all kinds of spots take your pick and we'll park right on the well I'd never park on the end but we're gonna park on the end here. We shouldn't get our hood taken off here. I missed. Perfect. Alright, we'll pull it over here.
And that's that. Kingsland, Georgia. Oh yeah.